uh, let us compare the Intel's newer core i5 6600K with the older Haswell i5 4570 processor. Now, there is one uh, basic difference is this K suffix is as the most of you may be knowing is for the officially overclockable part, but let us let us uh, uh, compare without overclocking in mind and with the with the something in the our background of the mind that it, it is overclockable and will get slightly better performance if we can by uh, using overclock some special cooling and so on and so forth. Uh, both the processor have the same 6 MB of uh, cache memory. The both of them are quad core processors, the four cores, and both of them do not support the hyper threading. The that leads us to the uh, base clock frequency changes. We have 3.5 gigahertz versus 3.2 gigahertz in the base clock and 3.9 gigahertz versus 3.6 gigahertz in the turbo clock frequency. On the top of it, uh, we can overclock it there and get some, some even better clock frequencies. Now, this in higher uh, power rating for Skylac is not uh, because of its architecture, but because it is an overclockable part. So, Intel needs to provide some headroom in terms of allow it uh, allowing it to uh, increase the core voltage or something like that. The pricing is of course, 243 versus 202 dollars. Uh, it makes sense because it is it is improved uh, clock frequency, we have slightly better architecture that gives you added performance and on top of it the most important reason for the increase in the cost is that it is overclockable. So, let us take a look at the past mark scores we have 7020 versus 7844 um, it is leaning, leaning towards uh, uh, 10 percent difference between these two processor performance or more slightly more than 10 percent. So, that is uh, not great, but again it is not insignificant as well. There are couple of more things that we would like to go through for the differences. One of them is uh, the Skylac comes with the DDR processor, which does not in improve the performance, but it does improve its power envelope by working at lower 1.2 volt. The DDR3 uh, works at 1.5 volt, and that gives us some some amount of power saving, which may not be very significant for desktops. The other difference is. Intel HD Graphics 530 versus HD Graphics 4600. They have uh, basically the same performance level, only a marginal improvement in HD Graphics 530. So, the bottom line is we get uh, a processor that is 10 percent faster than Haswell. We pay 243 dollars versus 202 dollars and we also get slightly better graphics and most importantly we are able to overclock this part, the Skylac part. Thanks for taking a look.